Welcome back to the Tech Bench. Today we're going to talk a little bit about a play rack from a uh, Rotzer Jukebox. These are the old electromechanical models and uh, model I think 2000 through 3300 use these play racks in various uh, incarnations. A lot of people want to put these on free play, which you can do, and I'm going to tell you how to do it, why you shouldn't do it, and what to do when you do it, because I know you're going to do it anyway. Now, I've seen a lot of different ways people put these things on free play. I've got them in with the pieces uh, missing, jumpers all over hell and back. But uh, quite simply, the way these things work, when you put in the coin, you trip a mechanism down here that moves a cam to your pre-selected position. Sorry, I'm doing it with my cell phone here. It's hard to keep this thing steady and point and grunt at the same time. So. Let's say you've got uh, 25 cents for three plays. So you put a coin in, trips that solenoid, that moves it to the pre-selected position. And then over here, as you play a record, this solenoid engages and retracts a credit one, two, and three. And now there's no credits in it. So a lot of people will take this cam off I've seen jumpers across the, the, the switches and stuff, but really all you have to do to put this into free play mode is to take this spring off, and instead of running it along here, you loop it around that side and bring it down here. And what that's going to do is that's going to basically keep the tension on this so the cam can't retract the credits. So it'll have just full credits on it the whole time. Now, the reason that you shouldn't do that is because what that does is that will hold in this solenoid until you trip the uh, the buttons for selections and it pulses and these things were made to make money they weren't made to be free play so with this solenoid engaged this resistor now this one's already been replaced this resistor uh, will get really 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 hot this resistor is the current limiter for the solenoid uh, this one's already been replaced. Like I say, it's a 25 watt in here now. So if you're going to do this, replace this resistor uh, with a 25 watt. And if you're going to keep the original incandescence in, which you shouldn't do, for the select any uh, uh, select any single, select any album, you should upgrade this resistor as well to a higher wattage. I strongly recommend that you replace these uh, lights, the the select lights with LEDs and I'll show you why. This is a diffuser. This is what is in front of those light bulbs. This is what happens to the diffuser when the lights are on all the time because it's in a free play mode. You can get this material, you usually got to buy a sheet of it. I got a 12 by 12 that I just take chunks off of as I do these things and slice it up and make it, but it's a um, or a polyacrylic or something like that they make it out of. But uh, they get badly burned with that uh, hot light behind it. They use these number 12 lamps. And I've been replacing them lately with uh, the last few years with LED replacements. There's a guy on eBay I buy them from. Um, but they run cooler. Um, and they don't burn things up. So needless to say, put it on free play. Move that spring, wrap it around the other way, upgrade that resistor to 25 watt, and should probably upgrade that one if you're going to keep the uh, incandescent, which I don't recommend you keep it all, go to an LED and be done with it. And that's it.